Hi everyone, my name is Jewel and I'm a pharmacy student at the University of Sunderland. So I'll have some notes here on my phone and I hope you guys can bear with me for that. So in the June that has just passed, I went to Scotland, Dumfries for a general practice pharmacy summer placement and I had a chance to shadow a pharmacist for three weeks in a GP practice in Dumfries and today I'm going to talk about my experience during the placement and also I've uh, made some vlogs on my YouTube channel so if you're interested in that you can head over there and watch. Alright so let's talk about my experience with the placement so I'll talk about how I applied what does a GP pharmacist do, which is my day-to-day -day experience, and what I learned during the placement, and was the placement worth it? So first up, how did I apply for the placement? So I applied to whatever placement opportunities uh, that were available, as the competition to get placements is actually quite high, so I just um, put in what all the applications that I possibly can so even if I don't get one there is still another well yes there uh, was the possibility of me not getting a placement in the year and it is uh, undeniably it feels discouraging and can feel disappointed but I would say the process of applying for the placement uh, was also a very good learning experience so like writing CVs and cover letters are actually really important skills that you, you think you might think that like okay I just got to write like my like what I've done in the past but actually this is it is a skill to write things like this and so definitely apply for placements even whether you get it or not the experience of writing all this is really um, beneficial as well because it will help you in few applying for future job right so I believe that like every university has a like team or department where they help students with anything career related uh, like looking at your CVs your cover letter and like help you to prepare for interviews as well so I did utilize the services provided by the university when applying for these placements and it has helped me a lot and yes interview skills are it is very important as well when you want to apply for a job after graduation so placements even before getting the placement, that's a lot of benefits. And next up, so what does a GP pharmacist do? My day-to-day -day experience. So in a nutshell, it is like calling patients to talk about their medications, discharge letters and updating them onto the system, medication reviews, clinical audits and clinics for long-term conditions. So I had the chance to shadow a pharmacist to do all these things as well with the pharmacist. So on a daily basis, the pharmacist has call appointments to make with the patients who has like inquiries or issues about their medication regimen and um, the pharmacist will make any like appropriate amendments accordingly and in a world of no COVID-19 these will be face to face and in between the calls when there is free time <laughs> the pharmacist will look at discharge letters from hospitals to, and update these onto the patient's medical records and when a patient is admitted to hospital and is then well enough to um, go home a discharge letter will be produced and just to talk about what has happened during the uh, patient's hospital stay and also the medications that the patient has taken or needs to start take, uh, taking after the hospital stay so those are discharge letters so this is one of the most important thing that a GP pharmacist has to do um, every day because um, there may be amendments to a patient's medication regimen and for this usually it is done um, by a pharmacy technician first and then a pharmacist for a second round of clinical and accuracy check um, just to make sure what is done in the hospital is clinically appropriate as well patient safety always at the heart of all healthcare professionals um, so next medication reviews um, it is basically checking that uh, medications that a patient are taking are still suitable for them so like if there are any um, clinical amendments that needs to be made, a pharmacist would then bring it up to the GP and to have a discussion about it. 
And next up is clinical audits and to contextualize it better, I will give some examples of what I did. So patients who are on triple whammy drug combinations, <laughs> I find that to be a funny name too, which is basically um, an ACE inhibitor or ARB, uh, a diuretic and an NSAID. Um, patient, patients who are on these three medications are at a great risk of um, developing acute kidney injury which basically means that it, these drugs really like dries up the kidney. So I had the chance to be involved in checking patients who are taking this uh, medication combination and call patients to talk about like these drugs and to make um, any clinical amendments where appropriate. So that was quite fun, I really enjoyed that. And so what have I learned during my placement? Um, I would say that I really had the opportunity to put like the theoretical things that I learned in uni into practice and also like this learning opportunity really allowed me to like contextualize the things that I've learned in uni and also placements like um, has allowed me to like have a taste of what the real working world of pharmacy is like so that I really enjoyed as well and like I had the chance to practice like various soft skills as well like um, you know how to communicate with different healthcare professionals you know these are quite important skills as well and um, like working in the team to ultimately deliver the best patient care possible uh, and also time management to complete like various tasks at hand so yes like the nice thing about placements is that it allows you to know like what you're going to be doing in the workplace which will really which really has like affected um, which sector of pharmacy that um, I would like to go in next time so like for me after this general practice placement like I really did enjoy the things that I've been doing and I actually might consider going into a GP practice uh, after I graduate well, I know it's a bit funny, but the only thing that I don't like is that I, I'm just sitting all day and I'm the kind of person who likes to um, move, like walk around more. So, I mean, I might choose hospital next time or GP, so I'm not so sure as well. So, I mean, that is just a small thought process that I'm sharing with you guys. And so, I find that the process of applying for the placement is actually more difficult than experiencing the placement itself like mainly because putting in so much application it takes like a lot of time and energy keeping track of those applications as well and like keeping track of the dates of your application and the dates of the different placements and like so you have to make sure that if you want to have more than one placement obviously you have to make sure that they don't clash with each other and I had some placements where I got quite a few and the dates clash so you like you have to prioritize and also like the anxiety from the uncertain results uh, of whether you get the placement or not sometimes it's a bit of luck as well so um, I would say if you didn't get an opportunity don't get too discouraged and one way to think about it is um, after you graduate all you're gonna all you're gonna be doing like is, is work so don't be too bogged up by the fact that like you didn't get the opportunity and your life is over because I do fall into that spiral I don't deny but yeah like just um, just do your best just do what you need to do and whatever happens or don't happen will it's all meant to be okay I'm not saying don't work hard but just don't get too discouraged when sometimes things don't turn out the way you hope them to be okay and also let me see what I still need to say <laughs> all right yeah placements are really great learning opportunities and yeah I've learned to how to work with different kinds of people and personalities as well and resilience is developed as well too um, which will come in handy when life gets difficult in the future yeah so yes I'll totally encourage students to apply for any placement opportunities where they can as it does help to put like the things learned in uni into context and it also helps with developing like organizational skills and as you ha uh, have to learn how to manage your time to find placement opportunities putting in the application and also manage your studies all at the same time and I hope that this video has like helped you if you an insight about placements and consider searching for them and thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye